All right, this is a tutorial on how to use a Google quiz and add extended response or short answer questions. To do that, go to Google Drive, select More, choose Google Forms. You'll want to title your form or your quiz, so extended response. And then we're going to want to turn on some features inside the settings. You're going to want to collect your email addresses. You can choose if you want to do response receipts, one response, etc. And then underneath quizzes, you're going to want to make this a quiz. But here we want to do later after manual review. You can choose these checkboxes as needed. So um, we would want to use extended response questions to get at those higher level of blooms. Uh, type of understandings because we just can't see the same for uh, multiple choice type questions. So for example, um, which organelle would be found inside a plant cell and not an animal cell? Let's say nucleus, say Golgi, you could say cytoplasm, you could say mitochondria, you could say chloroplast. So that's a, just a basic recall level question. Since we have the answer key available to us, I can choose chloroplast, and I can make that worth one point, and then I can make the required question. Of course, you can do things like shuffle this, etc. But that's a recall level question. So maybe I want to know more if a student can understand some of the processes that can occur inside um, of what's going on inside a plant cell. So to do that, I'm going to add a new question. But this time I'm going to switch out of multiple choice and go towards either a short answer or a paragraph. And so here my question might be explain the process of photosynthesis. Make sure to talk about the organelles and the different processes that occur during the light and dark reactions. Again, make it a required question and then in your answer key here we can make this worth more points back to edit. You wouldn't want to have a um, specific answer in here. Of course, you're not allowed to because it's a paragraph choice. But that would be what you want to do in order to make that, um, that question. So now that you're ready to give this test, we can preview what it might look like. <clears throat> so a student can pick Messiah, uh, the chloroplast, and they can start writing down their answers. So, photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast of plant cells. Plants use carbon dioxide and water to make glucose and oxygen. Submit. Then based on what you chose in your specific checkboxes, you see that this is what the student sees. Now I can go to responses, and you want to click individual responses. <clears throat> and this is where I can give a score for the student. So I can look at this and say, you know what, that's a pretty basic level understanding, individual feedback good basic understanding however you didn't mention anything about the electron transport chain or intermediary molecules make sure to expand your writing and then I could also link to this I could 
if I felt like the student really didn't understand, I could go to a diagram or I could link to a YouTube video or maybe I have a graphic in one of my files or I have a picture of the specific section of notes that we used. I could add that to my feedback as well. <clears throat> Once I have graded these, I can release these scores. Now if I have multiples of these, I can release multiple scores, but I can only release one at a time if I want to. And I can release this score, and then I can say, consider a retake. And then because I collected the usernames, that'll get sent back to me. So those are some basic ideas on how to use the extended response feature of Google Forms.